G'day, welcome back to the channel. Made a bin out of a jerry can. Took me about an hour, cost me about 50 bucks, I reckon. Uh, opens like that, rubbish inside, closes like that, locks off, a couple of U bolts up through the guts to hold it on. Works well, check it out. <laughs> Okay, this is what we've got ahead of us. Uh, you would have seen in the opening there, yeah, we're going to build a bin out of that 20 litre jerry can. Uh, I got that from Bunnings. It's um, pretty heavy duty. I liked it because it's grey. Well, it's meant to be black, but it's, we'll call it grey. Um, so it sort of blends into the back with the wheel and stuff when I mounted on my bumper bar there. Uh, most of this gear was left over from uh, building this van. If you haven't seen that, there's 20 episodes available on my YouTube channel. Uh, 10 hours of binge watching for your pleasure uh, go and check it out if you haven't seen it already uh yeah just a few different uh, nuts and bolts that i'll use for the hinges these are nylon hinges i had those in a in a spot in the van i had some left over these pull down straps i'm going to use to lock the bin when we're traveling or when we're trying to keep critters out i use those in the van as well I prefer these were black but we'll run with white and let them get red and dirty on the uh, dusty tracks yeah just a bit of other gear obviously a, um, a cutting disc on a grinder that's going to be for cutting the top of the jerry off um, these u-bolts are um, fit my 100 by 50 um, bumper bar so they'll be useful for that massive overkill in terms of the uh, strength of those but it's what i had um, and then some aluminium plate i use that in a few places in the the van as well that'll go in the bottom of the jerry actually and i'll punch holes through it to um basically use it as a large washer which these will pop up through and the nuts will tie it off on to give it a bit of strength we'll see how we go let's jump in yeah so that's where i'm going to mount it roughly um figure it exactly where when i put it on later with the bolts but it's got to work out which way i'm going to mount the hinge um i was going to do it like that so the lid opened that way but um it might be impeded by the location of the wheel I'm not too sure until you try and open it how well that will work so it's a bit risky so we won't do that i don't think what i've decided is i put the hinges here and here and have the lid pop back this way and then i'll have the um, tie down point on the front here to keep the lid closed i think that should work out okay um, before i cut the lid off i'm going to mark the location of these hinges and drill the holes um, so that we can um, get them lined up perfectly then i'll um, once the holes are drilled I'll, I'll cut the lid off and we should be underway cut this line here I think um, right on that edge put a bit of strength in that bevel so see how that uh, grinder goes cutting it I guess Okay, um, got a little bit wayward just there, unfortunately. Everywhere else is pretty good. Um, I have seen people put pinch weld on these to cover that edge, which may be an option, which means I'll have to trim a little bit more off uh, and um, to accommodate where the hinges are gonna sit. But uh, we'll see how it looks. Next bit is this. That goes in there like that. Quite amazing how that fits. There's a raised section in the bottom there. Sits on it very neatly. So oh, the way I'm going to do it is put the U-bolts up from underneath on the 
on the uh, bumper like that. So it'll come up through and then penetrate the bottom of the bin and then the nuts will be hidden inside down the bottom is the plan. Um, so it's a bit neater. All right, just mark the plate. Uh, I'm going to do it slightly off center so that the, the um, jerry sits a little bit forward of the bumper bar. So it's a little bit of, there's a bit of distance between it and the van in case it's going like this uh, at all on a bumpy road. It's not going to hit the van as much. So yeah, I've just marked four points. I'll punch these holes in and then I'll drop that in the bottom where I want it. And I'll mark the holes in the bottom of the uh, jerry so they line up exactly with these ones. <laughs> So I've just marked the holes in line with those ones at the bottom there. And I'll just punch through one and get the plate on there and make sure it's in the right spot. So that's it mounted inside now. Bit of space behind, which is good. Come up from underneath, obviously they'll pull up tight. Uh, I did them a bit off centre, just worked out better with the moulding on the bottom of the um, bin in terms of where I was going to put them. See, it's got like a lump on the side there, so I couldn't put it over that side easily. Um, yeah, I think that'll work out all right. Ah, we have a hinge. Looking good. Now I've got to put the clip on here and um, bolt it off to the bumper bar. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in through here like that. Um, that screw is going to protrude through the jerry and into the inside. Plus, it won't have a huge amount of strength. Just tapped into that plastic. So I've got this. This stuff is called Pure Light. Uh, I'm going to put it on the inside so that the screw goes through and into that. This is um, what I made the, some of the internal cabinetry in the caravan out of. Um, it's just a PVC type plastic product. Um, it's got good screw retention, so I'll just chuck it on the inside with a bit of sicker as well and then um, screw into it. Yeah, so she's on. It's pretty sturdy. Like it wobbles a bit, it'll vibrate a bit, but I think there's enough flex in that plastic that it'll be okay. Clip does up. Uh, I wish I had my time over on a couple of those cuts. I can see why you put pinch weld on, and I may do that later on to tidy it up, but probably not. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. That just opens like that. I'll be able to play basketball and throw rubbish in from around the corner and jack it in. Perfect. And then bin bag inside. Job done.